Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatchersnet here, and today we're going to check out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Raphael with Stored Shell. A re-release of a previous wave of TMNT figures, this concept is that each turtle can store all of their weapons on them. With these figures, they can actually open their shells and use that space for storage. Disclaimer, do not try to open the shell on real turtles. So here is Raphael with storage shell, and I, he came with a number of weapons. Uh, one of them was this um, ball and chain type of thing, which has a blowfish on the front. So um, it's neato. Um, and for something as a recreation of a 1991 figure, I guess. Uh, don't expect a lot of color in these things. They're just all molded on the same uh, a bit. So... Like, here's the size. The size are generally the same, except lighter than the original ones. And uh, then, of course, here is where he comes in. <laughs> he has a pizza that I guess is supposed to be like a throwing star type of thing. And then he has actual two throwing stars. And he has a boomerang, which, uh, sure, crikey, I guess. Uh, so... As I open up his back here, here is Donatello. This is the uh, from the original run back in the 90s. And um, same gimmick, obviously. And his stars are still there after, uh, what, 30 years? So, you know, <laughs> I always keep them in there. Um, let's see if I can get this back on. There we go. Okay, so, let's look at, look at how they're similar. They are obviously just casted in different colors. No, uh, oh, okay, the face is a little bit different, but uh, I mean, you can see like the veins in the arms, the way the legs are. The only difference is the feet. For some reason, all the Donatello seem to have this weird, like, um, back toe pose thing going on. I'm like, all of them they should be flat footed so they're easier to, to balance. But no, this is what they keep doing for these classic figures. But uh, as you see, it is pretty much like if you would bought this figure. In the past or this one in the future they would still seem consistent because this is you know identical to the previous one except this one doesn't have as i guess glossy paint so this is more matte which is uh, i guess a difference it's a choice so we'll put these two guys down for a sec and then we'll pull out the regular raphael that came out back in the 80s and uh my boy beat the hell but look at him same feet type of like, like the feet are literally Pretty much identical uh, there's a little bit molding differences but i guess it might be a difference in years uh but uh, otherwise you know the same type of vein structure um shells they have the same markings uh, the head's different obviously so i don't know what the expression on this guy's face is supposed to be is like he constipated is the shell a sign of maybe he needs to go potty i i don't know but i i picked him up one because frankly he was ten dollars and two, because I wanted a Raphael with a belt that wasn't broken. Mine got broken off by my little brother, um, you know, again, 30 years ago. So, um, you know, th this is why you don't give toys to children. <laughs> anyway, uh, I figured while I was here, because otherwise it would be a super short video, I would show some other Raphaels I collect because he is my favorite turtle. And this is the mutagen Raphael that actually turns into a turtle. Look at how big he is. He's easily about an inch taller. And he's the one with the shell inside where he transforms into a tortoise. Uh, so the dealio is that he's supposed to look like, um, you know, a turtle. When you fold everything back, you put these legs back up. These become the front legs. And uh, so I'm going to do that real quick to show you. How it looks now pieces because again this is a 30 year old figure are gonna probably fall off uh, but we'll see how this goes uh, so after I get his head out his arms fold over his head and I'm trying to be very careful because I don't see any stress marks on these but I don't want to I mean I mean they'll probably re-release these guys again I think they've done it at least once before um, where they have released these mutagen turtles because uh, this is from the original run. I, I can't remember when they did the last run. But uh, even had a little tail. Uh, just positioned the legs. And now we have a pet turtle. So <laughs> this is like a 
think about the fact that I love Transformers, I love Ninja Turtles, and then they put them together and you get a transforming Ninja Turtle. I mean, come on. And then finally from the newest um, series, you know, and then, frankly, I, I, I prefer the 2003 run of Turtles to the, the newest run, but these guys are for comical as, as a comedy series was actually pretty good. The articulation level compared to these like five point guys is um, this is just a lot going on here. And um, you get wrist articulation, you got the bendy arm, you got the butterfly joint, uh, legs, like multiple points, the feet, you know, it's just, it is way too complicated for a new turtle figure. Uh, but I mean, they even give them that unique turtle shell, which I do appreciate because in, in the most recent run of the cartoon and the rise, uh, they, of course, were very differentiated from each other. They weren't just the same thing, which I think is kind of an inspiration from the Bayverse films, where they did make it clear that each of the turtles were separate types of species, which is also now in the, in the last Ronin sequel series, where they have decided that the turtles will no longer look alike. So that uh, th that is a change, I guess, they're actively doing in the Ninja Turtle comic books to differentiate the characters more than just uh, bandanas. But uh, that's it. That's uh, that is Raphael in a nutshell, or a, a turtle shell. Before we get too far, let's uh, just quickly take a look at the back of the box here, and it is the typical story of the Ninja Turtles. And the uh, here's the figures in this particular wave, and as you see, they do have Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and then of course here's Raphael. <clears throat> Raphael says portrait of Raphael with storage shell, the turtle teen with a crafty component. It says accessories, Manta X, two size, two ninja stars, blowfish mace, ninja ring, and pizza disc, capacity 14 turtle tons. Uh, then it says favorite musical group, The Doors, uh, puns. It says master of the back attack, wraps ready to blast those sewer soaked foot tools, or fools I should say, with everything packed in his shell. This tricky turtle teen loves to fake out the foot into thinking he's empty headed. But we all know better than that. With just a flick of his shell, he's got everything a foot fighting hero needs. A manta axe for hooking hoods in half. A blowfish mace to knock out the clan's transistorized teeth. Oh, because in the cartoon they're robots. Because you know, can't have people killing people. And a ninja rang for boomeranging bad boys. But that's not all. Raph's super storage shell still has room for more secret sewer stuff like ninja stars and pizza disc. So don't worry when Raph's all alone and he's surrounded by a horde of henchmen because his secret stash of foot-flipping weapons is always right behind him. Um, <clears throat> sure. Uh, so, of course, um, anybody who doesn't know, uh, CBS, Viacom bought the Digital Turtles, uh, I don't know, decade-plus ago. Uh, that's why the cartoons have been premiering them pretty much exclusively on Nickelodeon. And, um, well, see, they bought them, ooh, I think, in the early 90s, so about 30 years ago. Which is why they switched from syndication to CBS. Anyway, the front of the box. I've ruined it. Which is fine. This this happens. But it's the typical neutral box except it's modified. This is the classic look. This bit here is actually the new bit. They didn't I don't think they had these in the original ones. But uh, that is more or less it for the box. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it? And how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.